little peachy ronies welcome back to a new video hope you guys are feeling peachy today I'm super excited to get into today's video but i'm also really really excited about some new total beach headphones that i'm gonna be showing you guys today now you guys know i've been using total beach since i started doing youtube which is why i'm super excited to share with you guys that looked cooler in my head. <laughs> the Total Beach Stealth 600, the Gen 2 version, which means it's gonna have all the amazingness of the original Stealth 600, but upgraded with a bunch of new features and a really sleek design. Now, it does come in white and black, but as soon as I saw these white ones, I'm like, I have to see them in person. Now, the Stealth 600 Gen 2 do have a completely wireless connection, so there's no cables involved when you're wearing these to play. But they've also improved the fit and the sound of these headphones, so not only are they gonna have all of those awesome audio features, such as the superhuman hearing and the powerful amplified audio but also if you occasionally wear glasses like me they've also improved the cushioning here with an actual pain sensor design which is the pro specs and that's going to just remove that pain that you can get if you have to wear glasses when you wear headphones now what is really cute as well is that the microphone actually completely flips back into the design but if you don't use a microphone to play and you flip it up you're never even going to notice it's there but if you do it's super handy plus you get 15 hours of battery life per charge i'm going to go ahead and put them on and see how they look. See, I love the look of white headphones. I think these are so cute and so sleek. I absolutely love them. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments below. I'm gonna leave a link in my description below to the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2 headphones. And also, if you are a member of my Peachy Discord, we're gonna be going ahead and doing a giveaway for these headphones very soon. So keep your eyes peeled on Discord and you can win a pair of these beautiful headphones. So now that I'm feeling extra cozy, let's get on with today's video. So today we have ourselves some more eco lifestyle. I'm excited to get back into this one because I've updated some mods that will help us with today's episode but also because I was actually watching back on like our older episodes. Um, I was watching episode four. I felt like we'd been grinding so hard for so long and yet we had literally nothing to show for it and now look at all we've got. Like literally look what they've achieved. They have two kids. They have this gorgeous eco eat house which with a garden and with beautiful flowers of which I obviously want to add more. We can actually get rid of some of this stuff because they're not toddlers anymore. They did age up in the last episode. But basically, we have so much amazing stuff. And I don't know, I just felt this like sense of like pride for my Sims. I got rid of their toddler beds because I'm gonna go ahead and give them some adult, well, some child beds now. At this point as well, I kind of want to start letting them both have their own space, giving them their own room, which means potentially we may need to look to do yet another extension. Maybe another shipping container on the top of the house. Although I really like the way the house looks, I do think maybe potentially it's something we should look into. I won't do it like immediately because I think we need to save up a little bit of money for it. So let's just go ahead and get them their bed. They had the cool beds from the Harry Pottery kind of add-on, didn't they? Wizard bed. Let me see if I can get a wizard bed for children. It's like a fun made pack. <gasps> a junior wizard starter set! What? Oh my gosh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I want this though. Can I not get them like... It's like a fun made awesome Harry Potter set. Oh, <gasps> yes. However, oh, this is where we're definitely running out of room. So much running out of room. I might have to do that extension sooner than I thought. I'm trying to like work out the most aesthetic way to do it as well. Because I really, really like the way that the house looks. So like I'm being very careful uh, when it comes to like, I don't want to ruin the aesthetics. Basically, one thing I'm really excited about for this episode is I'm going to attempt to fully homeschool the kids, do online school with them, um, have Ivy and Kenai try and teach them life skills rather than actually go to school. One, because, you know, it's kind of topical. We are sort of doing that. A lot of people are doing that at the moment anyway, so I thought it could be fun. But two, because I've never done it before. And three, because I feel like low-key, it might be something that Ivy is kind of passionate about anyway. So I thought it could be good for that reason. Now, I don't want to get rid of this cool, like, brighteny bit under here. I want to still have that glass thing. It is going to be looking into a shipping container now. However, there's not a great deal I can do about that. <gasps> it's in the pool. It's kind of cool though. It's kind of cool that it's in the pool. <gasps> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I know it's a little bit crazy. Also, our shipping containers are now like upcycled wood. Very trendy. I'm gonna work out if any of the colors look cool, you know, just to like mix it up a little bit. Cause we've got brown, then we've got like, this is like lighter brown, that's darker brown. We could go lighter still on top. I don't know if it's a bit standy outy, maybe lighter might look better on like the middle floor. Yeah, why don't we go this color on the top floor and then the lighter one on the middle floor. It's kind of a vibe, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. And then we put grass on top. So it's like very eco. And we can move a bunch of this stuff up here. What we can also do in the long term is get ourselves even more solar panels. Cause we'll be able to fit on absolutely 
absolutely loads now, won't we? Although, why won't it let me put them on here? Rude. Why, why, why does it keep dropping below? No, I want them up here. What? Okay, that's a really weird bug. And I like the idea of continuing these little, like, grassy walls as well. I was literally looking at one of these the other day. They had one in John Lewis, and I'm like, that's so cool. And then it was, like, 300 pounds for, like, literally just that panel. And I was like, to actually add all the panels you'd want to add, it would cost so much money. I'm like, no, 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 this is ridiculous. And we should bring back some of this, like, cool vibes as well. And maybe some of these cool vibes too. Okay, just to, like, have, you know, cool aesthetics going on. Grab some of these again. At this point, I won't have enough money for the kids bedroom, but I'm like, it must look aesthetic. Okay, it has to have a vibe. Okay, so now I have this whole extra floor. Feels like we need to plan a little bit more. Didn't mean to do a little rhyme there. So I'm kind of thinking, probably move up Ivy and Kenai's bed to the top floor, because what we could actually do is give access. I might have to, like, make this bit into a door instead, but we could give access to here and they could have their own, like, little private balcony vibes, which could be real cute. And then I can give them, like, a really nice bed. It would be a massive bedroom, actually, but I can put a bathroom in it. So they can have, like, an ensuite. I'm just moving the furniture. Most of this furniture is just stuff we found. Because, um, Ivy hates it when we buy things. So it's, like, built or found stuff. So we will have to get Kenai on making us some more, like, lights and stuff. But theoretically, we now have a master bedroom which is really cool. Okay, so the one thing that isn't working too much now is like, because you've got ladders there and ladders here, can I like stack ladders on top of each other? I can't. It kind of makes planning the rooms a little bit more difficult. Jeez, this is hard. This is hard to plan. Okay, I've got rid of the bathroom. Put it just like up here for now. I will be making it more private, don't worry. We don't need a toddler bathroom. Got a light here, very useful. But now, that means I can technically knock down here. Oh, this is taking some serious planning. Um, how does that help me? <laughs> I'm not sure if it does. I was thinking if pushing the stairs down that way might help. I'm not sure how, but in my head it's a maybe. Because at least they're all in one place and I can make a room here. So somebody gets this as their bedroom, which is nice. Okay, so I have, an, I have bedrooms for two kids now because somebody gets this as their bedroom and somebody gets this as their bedroom. So that works at least. I am running out of money, so let me make sure I can at least fit in. Like I want to give both of them a nice bedroom, you know, so. This person gets a balcony as well, technically. All these balcony access, so that's kind of cool. And Ivy will be so mad that I'm like getting them bedrooms like beds and stuff this way rather than dump dumpster diving oh my gosh look at the little beds <gasps> however i just want to give them like their own little cute rooms oh my gosh this is amazing okay shall i make this one up here with the balcony access i think i'm gonna have for prim i'm gonna give her green because she kind of looks like a very nature oriented kid to me there's so much cute stuff you can get them Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's like the mirror the mirror of Ezra Ezra and Ezra and Ezra. The, the, the mirror you look in and it tells you what you really desire. That's so cute. Look at this side table with a little castle on it. I realized they both need their own like desk space um, if they're gonna be like homeschooled. So I feel like we need to get on that next. So got her little desk. Oh my gosh, look at this mirror. Oh. <gasps> I know I already got really excited about this when we saw it before, but it's just so cute. It, it physically hurts. I can change that to green, I bet. Oh, oh they're proper little puffer heads. Or maybe only one of them should be into the magic hype, you know? Maybe it's a bit much making both of them puffer heads. Or maybe they both are as kids and then one kind of grows out of it. King's bed needs to be upstairs with them, even though King doesn't sleep in our house very annoyingly because he's bugged. Oh my gosh, I'm just spending everything on this. Look at the Oh my gosh. <gasps> there's a really cozy, comfy looking chair, but there's also this one. I'll get her this in green as well, her desk. And then I think that they both need PCs to work on. <laughs> However, I just got really overexcited by Harry Potter and just got them everything for that. A MacBook Pro, intense. Oh my gosh, this is literally killing Ivy's soul. So much needless buying. Oh, I, they can't use that. It's just for show. I need $800 each. Okay, what have we got downstairs here? I can get rid of some of this like kids stuff. Nub, like, okay, I can get rid of that. That I might put in Prim's room above her bed cute times we've got one pc here so unless oh kenai made them beds okay now i feel really bad because kenai made them beds and i'm like the harry potter beds that's so cool but kenai literally made them beds so maybe oh kenai i feel so bad i'm here like just getting rid of all your stuff because i found a cute stuff pack that i like more however maybe i love the bed oh it's gonna kill me getting rid of this you might have to sell this fabricated bed you can sell these and these. We should get enough 
money for one more PC. Okay, so at least they can both work from home now. Oh my gosh, her room's so freaking cute. Work from home. Study from home. <laughs> and there's no puffer head flooring, but there is walls. So I think this is such a cute room. I still need to put way more stuff in them. Like their rooms feel a little bit empty right now, but I think Ivy would definitely want me to start dumpster diving. Oh, it kind of sucks though, because Keenai did make you this bed. And it, it kind of works, right? It does kind of go. Maybe you should use the bed Keenai built for you. Oh, I feel so bad taking her beautiful bed away though. Maybe we'll try dumpster dive for the rest of this stuff. Because the other thing I was thinking as well, if I'm doing their like work from like study at home, I want them to actually build like a bunch of really useful skills at home as well. I don't know why I have to place it like this. It's so weird. Okay, for whatever reason, when I remove the roof below, I can place solar panels on here again. Okay, bro. Weird, but bro. Eventually, I want to fill this roof. Obviously, I'm not quite there yet, but whatever. Move you back. And done. I think we've got, we're running definitely quite low on cash. I think we've got our new groovy little area now, so that's cool. Kind of wondering whether I should make this a bit more safe. I also don't want to ruin the aesthetics of the house. Okay, I just put that one in there for now because I still want to be able to see like the back of it. I don't, I still don't love the one we've got, but it's just for now. It's just for now because I've kind of completely run out of money. But yeah, I wanted to like build the kids. Like today we're going to do two hours of art. Tomorrow we're going to do like, you're going to work on your science kit. Like that is the way that I want to uh, homeschool them. The first thing I actually think I need to do is every morning I need to like wake them up and like register them for homeschooling that day. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, send them to bed for now so that they can get up nice and early tomorrow and they can like maybe the pet like uh Kenai and Ivy like do a day each being like teacher <gasps> and if they have PE they can go in the pool they can go swimming for their PE lesson that's so cute why does this not extend all the way down I've just realized that's really weird I will get on that I love the pool so much so look at those colors gorgeous so I'm gonna be using um these sla the kawaii stacy better schools I think it is that's the mod I'm gonna be using hopefully for this I've never tried homeschooling before yeah, so I guess we will see if it works um why do you suddenly put glasses on when you go to bed and I'd, oh did I not do all the outfits <gasps> I did not do all the outfits both of them have specs in bed which is kind of cute but also definitely you don't wear specs in bed so I will need to finish off the rest of the outfits but anyway Baba La Rue's are in bed this bits I know lost the oh there's a lot of strangeness going on but wait, wait, where did we just get two thousand pounds from did we just get paid for working on a day off or something we will get two thousand pounds how has this just occurred how has this just occurred did I completely miss how that happened she's annoyed that we've bought new stuff i knew she would be i knew she would be okay you know what i ain't even gonna complain because i can now finish off my classroom because what i was thinking is if i move all of like kenai stuff up here and like the recycling bobs up here as well although maybe that should go next to the bins like here hopefully they can still access that because i was thinking is if i move oh it's so cute i almost feel bad moving outside but if they have like a cool vibey area out here this has been such a buildy episode so far but if they do have a cute little like buildy area out here then i can repurpose is this into a little bit of a learning space which I think is nice so I can put the puffer head chemistry set there for when they're doing like the science class and then can kids use the easel surely they can or should I get them the little tables maybe I should get them the little like worky tables oh my gosh you can actually use this this is actually usable oh my gosh it's the coolest classroom ever so yeah ba there's basically a whole like full-on classroom in here now, which I thought was cute. I put the rug under here. I don't think having it under a chemistry set is the bestest idea. And a little violin as well, so that they can become little prodigies. Okay, this has to be the most effort you can put into homeschooling. Like, this feels pretty top tier to me. <gasps> I'm so excited for them to wake up and start their day of homeschooling. All I've done so far is building, and I've made them outfits and cuffs. I'm gonna show you a little tip for MCC if you don't wanna, like, you guys actually were the ones that told me this. If you don't wanna, like, paste over, like, eyelashes, skin details, like, you know, that are all like makeup y skin details and like eyes and all that kind of thing. Uh, oh my gosh, you don't have to go all the way downstairs to wash your hands. Just wipe them on the bed. Ivy's asleep. She'll never know. And I'll get you a sink tomorrow, okay? Maybe you can even build one. And ooh, are we in autumn now? I think we're in autumn. Yeah. Oh no, the weather's gonna start changing. Oh, and I never did the downstairs bathroom. I should have kept the bathroom there, but just changed the shape. That would have been the wiser decision. Okay. Uh, so you have to go all the way upstairs now just to go for a wee in the middle of the night. Clearly, I've not thought this through, okay? Just give me some time. Give me a little bit of time and I'll get there. I'll sell some crops tomorrow. We'll be laughing. It's fine. Oh! And oh, someone got their their socks and said that they fit perfectly. Okay. <gasps> and it is officially the first day of fall, gang. Okay, 
6 a.m. 6 a.m. Kids, time to sign up and show that you're doing online schools. Okay, here is my tip. Go to MCC if you have it. Go to Dresser. Go to Copy and Paste. And you want to copy the accessories to all and paste all outfits. Can I do makeup? Oh, it's a kid. So I guess no. <gasps> I just did the wrong thing. Because <laughs> she wasn't in a regular daytime outfit. <laughs> Oh no! So now she's got those accessories pasted to all outfits instead of the accessories she was meant to have. Like the eyes. I've forgotten what her eyes are now. Oh my gosh, Claire! And oh my gosh, I'm there ready to wake up and homeschool them. It's Sunday! Okay, I guess my fun can't start today, which I am very, very sad about. However, there's no reason why Charles can't start. What are you having for breakfast? Yogurt. That's good. That is not good yogurt, though. That is disgusting yogurt. Chores can start today because you are, you were little Rex as toddlers, so you will be doing a bit of cleaning, okay? Maybe you can have a mud fight. Okay, maybe I will allow that because that's kind of cute. <gasps> and, oh, no. Kenai has a fever from low hygiene. Okay. Well, I'm going to need you to do a lot of work today. So, why don't you go have yourself a bubble bath and get on the mend because I need you at top form, okay? I do need you at top form, I'm afraid. Do you hear little birdies? I hear little birdies and stuff in my garden. Oh, that's so cute. So freaking cute. However, um, please, 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 kids, chore time. It's chore time, okay? And this is also making god awful noises. So I'm gonna need you to get all keen. Now you've got your work cut out today, babes. You have got your work cut out today. Look at that. Look at the kids. Oh, the like the kids doing the chores makes the house a much happier place. I'm so there for it. Thank, thank you, children. That's what kids are for. Household tasks. We've got some cleaning up in here to do as well, please, 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 kids, come on, clean up, get cleaning. Cody has just sent us some money. I just sent to you some money. I thought you could use it. Nine dollars. Really, Cody? That is an insult more than anything. That is definitely a little bit more of an insult, I would say, but <laughs> great, thanks. <gasps> Look at her being a little eco queen like her mum. Things you love to see. Espen is working on pet training uh, king today, like father, like son, and we really need a toilet. So, can you fabricate a toilet? If not, we'll have to go for the good old woodworking toilet. And it's a shame you can't knit a toilet, because I find that a knitted toilet would look absolutely Absolutely adorable. And you cannot fabricate a toilet. Well, that is just a crying shame because I feel like that would look very adorable. We do need some more lights and stuff. So why don't you do yourself um, a little floor light for now. And then we need you to make a whole bunch of stuff on here. Stop flirting, you two. We really need a toilet, okay? Oh my gosh, Kina, you mo you cook really gross food, babes. You're lovely, but my gosh, you cannot cook a nice meal to save your life. But here it is, kids. The most grim looking salad. How would you get salad wrong? Like, how does that even happen? And oh my gosh, the thunder is here. Em Emil aged up into an adult. The thunder is here. Keep Keenan inside. He's already become the god of thunder once. Hey, bro, are you busy? Want to play some games in me with me? Uh, can I invite everyone over? Or is it just him? I mean, it's a Sunday. There's absolutely no reason why he can't hang out with his bro. Okay, Keenan, I'll see you in an hour. Will he come here? I think I said I'd go there. Oh my gosh, everyone wants. Them. All the brothers want to see them today. I will see you in an hour. I think I'm gonna invite the bros here. I think that'll be the easier way to do things. Still, so cute that everyone wants to come hang out with us. Let's do a brother hangout day. And please get inside because Ivy's already almost been struck by lightning. She's freaking out about that, so please just come inside, okay? Oh, and we used to use this little hangout space. Now it's all getting rained on. Like, the school has taken over everything. Everything. But I wanted to do it, so it was the right thing to do. Oh, and the bros yeah. just want to come over and hang out with like their nieces and nephews, what? which what? is yeah, so, so cute. You're already there trying to get your influence in. What? You really are your mother's child. Oh, Just... The series is wholesome, okay? There's just cuteness going on everywhere. Code is stressed. I think no, the Sims don't like lightning, do they? So they get really freaked out. Last recess, says nobody wanted to play with me. This is a lot. Don't listen to her, Emil. She's lying. Because the hell haven't even had recess yet. It's Sunday, okay? So talk to the teacher, which is me, your mom, and stop lying. Just stop lying. Why are you lying? <gasps> and our dad's just come around with a special gift. What? That is the cutest thing I ever heard. I was just about to start doing a bit of knitting, obviously. I want to knit some sweaters for the kids because I think it would be really cute. I don't even know which one I just clicked, but get on with that. Kina, go invite your father in Lauren. <gasps> what has he got us? What? I'm so, like, I love this. Is this from, like, a mod or what? I don't know what this is from, but I love it. He gave us a quintessential vanilla cupcake. That is the cutest thing. And we just sold some of our stuff as well. Look at this cupcake. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna, I was gonna give it to Ivy as, like, a gift. However, Kina is always gifting people stuff. So I think it's so cute that now somebody has gifted him a cupcake and he's just gonna gnome on his little cupcake. All the food he cooks himself is trash, so this is nice. So I can't do 
dumpster dive when it's raining. She's so frustrating. I really missed a bit of dumpster diving. And why is my beautiful hedgehog baby onesie selling price of zero? I don't think so. I'm not selling it for nothing. How did that even win? Stupid. And I'm just saying, already, already, <laughs> I'm noticing that Espen really likes games. And I kind of low-key wanted a sim that was like a pro gamer. He's very into his gaming already. I always catch him in here. It doesn't actually build his video game skill, which is really annoying because I kind of feel like it should. But yeah, we've got a kid that's naturally into video games. Oh, Cody Jet just aged up into an elder. How can he? He's a vampire. Makes no sense, but whatever. Okay, Kina, you look absolutely so tired. So Sunday night, why don't we all get ourselves a nice early... You've already gone to bed as well. Let's all get ourselves a nice early night. I mean, it's kind of messy down here if you guys don't mind doing a little bit of cleaning up first. Chores, it's your chores. Please do your chores. And the garden's looking very tragic. Very, very tragic, but it's fine. Tomorrow is the first day of homeschooling. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. <gasps> I look a little king. Sleeping outside, that would be soaking wet because I've not been able to afford a cover for it yet. <laughs> Yeah, oh wow, people aging up all over the place. <gasps> and she's so excited she's woken up at half four in the morning. Now, the most important thing to start the day is a good healthy breakfast. So, but I also want to treat them. Eggs and toast. Let's, let's do a sensible healthy breakfast to begin the day. And then, you have work in six hours. You've pushed for homeschooling so hard. You're like, Kenai, we need to homeschool our kids, okay? It's the right thing to do. I want to I wanna be the one that develops them and helps them grow. By the way, I'm going to work at 10. Enjoy! That is literally what she's just done. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Kenai is going to be the teacher for the day. He is going to kick off the homeschooling. Prim is also a very early riser as well. There's a family of early risers, really. Can't relate, but wish I could. And I have no money, but they keep going all the way upstairs for the toilet, and it's really stressing me out. I actually hate how the woodworking toilets look so much. Um, I will sell the bar so that we can at least finish off the walls and have ourselves a little downstairs toilet. Oh, Espen's woken up and had cake for breakfast. No. Can we, can we give a lecture about responsibility? Cake for breakfast, although delicious also not wise and then i think i have to make them register so this is the school portal we're going to be able to attend school online you can not choose this option after 12 or 1 that's fine we can go ahead and do that now so we can get them both to register for online school or like home school they can still meet class uh, classmates they can still attend interactive lectures and stuff and they can still do study and homework so they need to get a skill like this is a thing though can i like make them do she has a maximum of four hours to join class which you can do so by going to the school portal okay so i guess for the start of the day i should get them to do like their online school then so attend your interactive lectures to kick off the day teacher is still sleeping oh she got the fitness skill from her interactive uh, interactive lecture ah so it like teaches them random stuff that's oh they both did okay that's cool and because prim is a loner she's also kind of liking the solitude of learning from home <gasps> tell hutchinson season is beginning oh i want to take them on holiday now <laughs> you've reached you've learned a bit of creativity as well okay that is perfect oh you're down here doing it you know what this is actually perfect because i did want you to go downstairs and do stuff like this. So this is where we're going to be learning today. Kenai is going to be in here. Keep Kenai is going to be in here. Keeping an eye on you. Kenai is going to be in here. Kenai, come on, babes. Come sit here. Keeping an eye on you, making sure that you guys are both working away. Encourage. Yes. Perfect. Not playing video games. Stop that. <gasps> Beautiful. Love your fall crafts. Can we hang those up? Oh my gosh. <gasps> so cute. Okay, well done for doing those. Why don't you try uh, drawing some vehicles now? He's still super sick. He's got a cough. He's all stuffed up. His throat is itchy. Literally homeschooling and the parents got the flu. <laughs> you should be in self-isolation. Kenai, where is your mask? In fact, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Look at him coughing. Coughing directly onto Espen's head. Are you kidding me? You Night, oh, please lava. be more sensible with um, wearing a mask. I'm sure I have masks. Where are they at? Here we go. Nope, not round. Doesn't do any good round your, um, round the bottom of your face, okay? There you go. Wearing a mask because he actually is sick with flu. Like, I was going the kids sick with flu. My game is just like role playing 2020 right now to a freakish level. Okay, here he is. Oh, oh my gosh. Lava. But there, he, he's <laughs> sick, but at least he's got a mask on. At least he has a mask on to try and cover his face from the stumpy flu. Okay, yeah, he's really, really ill. And he's got to homeschool the kids. The first day of homeschooling. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, what are we doing now? Please, um, if you, if you're, you have to keep making stuff, okay? Please, like, look at them just both immediately not doing what he says. He's like, I, I'm trying to encourage you to do your arts here, okay? Ivy's at work. Please work nice and hard. There we go. Encourage this adorable behavior. Teach some valuable lessons. Be a good little teacher, but please also stay two meters apart at all times and please use some hand sanitizer. Ah, and our bills, we own minus 50. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, the kids are working away nicely. I'm just gonna allow them just five minutes while, uh, to just keep working quietly.
quietly and, and sensibly. <gasps> Their school performance is excellent because they've been learning stuff. Or well, hers is at least excellent. Espen's less so. But I do need you to go ahead and just weed this garden because it's looking pretty bad. Uh, and then after you've done that, we can sell everything. <gasps> Look at him rocking away in his little chair. I never thought there would be a reality where we had teacher Kenai sat in a rocking chair whilst homeschooling his kids. However, I am so freaking there for it. It's adorable. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so I've sent him outside to go and do like, are you still in your pajamas, by the way? Not Craig, but whatever. I've sent him outside to go do his gardening. Hopefully these guys continue to work quietly and sensibly and be good little googies. Also, both of them are not enjoying the fact that their father has coronavirus because they are not enjoying being near an exposed sim. Hopefully they don't get it though. Okay, Espen's also discovered vampires and wants to search for information about them. That's kind of interesting, so I'm gonna let him do that. And it did not take long for both of them to break off. However, it's lunchtime. That's fine. Go and grab yourself some lunch, kids. Good little chitters. And poor sick Kenai is working away in the garden. Oh, man. Look at the kids just out watching him. Like, that looks hard work, Dad. That looks really hard work. We're just gonna watch from over here with the chickens. I think Dad's now being schooled. Wait a minute. You guys can sell stuff as well. You can help in the garden? What? This could be an interesting part of school. Oh, my gosh. Yes, kids. Kids, please get involved and help out in the garden, okay? Today we are learning. It's, it's herbology lesson. Just pretend it's your herbology lesson, okay? Yes. Look at this. Learning. This is an important life skill. Knowing how to garden is an important life skill. So I'm very happy about this. Ooh. And what does that mean? Great to oh, Great Premier's on a B. Yay. Okay. This is such a better way to learn skills. This is so much better than going to school. So much better. I'm going to finish their school day. It's only 4 p.m. So I'm just going to allow them to finish school with some PE. And we're all going to go for a nice little swim. Can King come too? Yes, he can. Oh my gosh, what? <gasps> How have I never done this before? How did I not know that the pets could swim? I do not know. However, PE class now. We're all having a nice little swim around the pool together. This is the most wholesome way to educate your kids. Like, this is so freaking cute. I know you're so sick, but you're giving them a good example, okay? Healthy, swimming, learning to swim for starters, but also the dog is in the pool with them. Well, ain't this just the most adorable thing I ever have seen in my whole life? I love this. I feel so sorry for poor Ivy, the one that wanted this, the one that hates the man and like going for a job and grinding, and but she's the one that's had to do it while the whole family just enjoys like Banterville in the pool. However, what she got, I'm gonna make her, she's got, she's got seven vacation days. I'm gonna make her call a vacation day uh, tomorrow and she will be the teacher for the day instead, which I am really, really excited about. So guys, let me know what you think of the extension and our first day doing a little bit of homeschooling. I found it so, so fun. I kind of like that Espen is veering Homer and hijinks. Stop ruining my outro. I kind of like the idea that Espen might be veering naturally towards um, a sim. Oh, wow. Well, was missing a post there, isn't it? A sim that could uh, very well be joining a gaming career in the future. And I'm really, really enjoying homeschooling as well. If you guys are enjoying this as well, let me know in the comments below. Ivy will be taking over tomorrow which is just gonna be so freaking cute. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. If you are, please don't forget to check in on the next episode. Please just give this video a cheeky little thumbs up and don't forget to check out the description below for information about my Turtle Beach new headset. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.